Hey, what's going on? Keith from Trigger Happy, and I'm gonna talk about the 22 Tundra of mine for the last time, and that's because Toyota has agreed to repurchase this truck. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what has happened in the past. Let's just say I've had a lot of problems. Some of them have been very minor. Um, you know, ticks and noises and clicks and clacks, those are, those are minor. Others have been more major. Obviously, I had the turbo problem right off the bat. I've had transmission issues off and on. I've got a driveline vibration. It's just kind of been on and on with this truck. So after the last uh, issue I had with the truck, which was discovering rust or corrosion or whatever's going on with the tailgate, I contacted Toyota Corporate, and I have to say they have been very good to work with. Uh, they sent two engineers to my office to take a look at the truck. We've identified about 16 problems, eight open recalls on this truck. So there's a lot going on with it. Um, and they made the decision to repurchase the truck for a refund for what I paid for it two years ago. So um, I can't complain about that service. I had some initial issues that I felt were not uh, listened to or dealt with properly, but I will say they have very much redeemed themselves and uh, taking care of me very well. So kudos to Toyota. Um, it took a while, but very, very pleased in how they handled my issue and have agreed to repurchase this truck. So what needs to be done to make this truck better? And then what's good about this truck? So there are things that are really good about this truck that I've talked before in the past, but after two years and after I've had all the problems, here's my list of things that are really good. The appearance is outstanding. This truck is beautiful. I get complimented on it all the time. Uh, it's fast. <laughs> it, it accelerates really well. It handles really well. It tows really well. And I'm going to stop right there. Um, I think there are a lot of improvements that need to be made that were promised that really were not delivered. Um, the tech is wishy-washy it works sometimes it doesn't other times the screen wants to connect sometimes sometimes i can take a three-hour drive and i never get connected uh, for carplay or, or things like that sometimes it won't even connect wired um, and those are real issues sometimes the screen will quit working and i'm just driving down the road i've had that happen with my fuel gauge numerous times these small problems are maybe design problems. They might be quality control problems. They might be down line, uh, third party issues. I don't know what it is, but the parts quality on this truck are not nearly as good as the old truck you can tell. Um, the plastics feel cheaper. If I wanna pull my door hard, maybe it's windy out, or I need to kind of slam my door hard, you can feel the door card separate from the metal. You can feel it. And it, it's just cheaply made. And that's not something I normally would say about a Toyota product, especially one that's $60,000. Um, the plastics are cheap. The side seat is broken three times. And contrary to what people on the internet want to say, it's not my size. I've lost quite a bit of weight, actually. But it's a design problem and they told me as much that it is a design problem. So these are things that I didn't see in old vehicles. I didn't, I've never experienced in my other Toyotas. I don't know why that is, but the use of more plastic, um, the entire front end of this truck is plastic. The entire rear end of this truck is plastic. There's so much of it you would think they would have lightened the truck and got a lot more fuel economy. That's not the case. The fuel economy is still not any better. And you have this powertrain that runs super well, but I don't trust it to drive me 500 miles you know, on a trip. I really don't anymore because there's so many issues that keep popping up every time I drive this truck long distance that you hear new sounds and new noises that concern me. Sometimes they last for a day. Sometimes they last for five minutes. Um, I don't know what they are, but I don't trust this truck. And I indicated that to the engineers that I think this may be a design problem as much as a quality control problem. And I'm not so sure that they don't disagree because some of the choices that were made on this truck just don't make any sense. Um, I understand we live in a world with emission controls 
and the quest for MPG uh, being as good as it can be. I understand all the government standards that are put on these manufacturers, but this is not the answer. Um, I don't know what is, whether it's to go back to a V8, um, but this is not it. The transmission is herky-jerky. It can't figure out what gear it wants to be in. Sometimes if you're going 45 miles an hour on a road, it'll just decide it wants to be in seventh gear and stay there. And then it just jerks all over the place. Things that you just didn't see on the other Toyota trucks. Um, so Toyota, I know you're watching this. Um, do better. You know, it's plain and simple. Do better. We expect more from you. I have always expected more from Toyota. I'm willing to pay a premium price for a premium product, but now I'm paying a premium price for something that is middle of the road at best. I don't think this truck stands out above any other trucks on the market. And I never would have said that about the old truck. Um, you may ask, am I buying another Toyota? The answer is yes, I absolutely am. Toyota's treated me like gold, but I'm not buying another Toyota truck. I'm definitely not buying a Tundra. And the Tacoma is unreliable, uh, in, in, in my mind anyway, because it's untested. So I'm gonna go with the tried and true Toyota 4Runner before that thing gets the treatment of you know, smaller displacement, turbo, hybrid, I'm not interested in that stuff. I've seen the future and I don't like it. I like the old stuff better. It worked. And this, if this is the way that vehicle manufacturing is going, and it is, I'm not really on board with it. I'll go back to my old uh, dinosaur trucks because they worked and they lasted and I never worried about them. So to sum this up, and I, I sum this up with Toyota directly on numerous occasions. My best word for this truck is fragile. And I don't know if the 24s are better than the 22s and 23s were. Um, but a lot of Toyota fanboys are going to hate that I use that word. But this truck's fragile. And I don't know how much I'd want to push it, how much I'd want to work it. Because um, the interior is not holding up. Uh, the the pain obviously is not holding up and the powertrain I don't think is long for this world in comparison to the old V8 powertrains that we had so um, it's a disappointing truck and I hate to say that because I love the look of it and I love love the experience of owning it when it works the way it was intended and when it does that it's awesome but um, I bought this truck to take cross-country camping trips in and there's no way in the world I would trust it to do that right now. So I'll get my 4Runner, which I know what that is, and I'll be happy. So Toyota, thank you um, for working with me and, and kind of going through things with me. But uh, ultimately, I'm disappointed in your product, and I think a lot of other people are as well. And if I had to rate this truck on a long-term scale, I don't think it would rate well. Um, just based on what I've seen. So if you're in the market for this truck, I would say if you're in the used market, skip the 22 and 23 and start with the 24. If you're in the new market, uh, ask around. You know, Find out what other owners of 24s are experiencing. Have they fixed a lot of these problems that I and so many other owners had? And that's the last thing I think I'll address in this series. I've had a ton of people comment that my truck was a one-off, that my truck is a rare occurrence. And after discussions with so many owners, and then I'll say confidential discussions with Toyota, that's not the case. My truck is not a one-off. I think my truck is one of many. And that's sad, and I hope that that improves in the future because I'm a, I'm a Toyota guy and I wanna remain a Toyota guy, but you're gonna to have to put a product out that I have confidence in again. And looking at what's coming, Land Cruisers, Forerunners, Tacomas, Sequoias, you name it, it's all over complicated stuff that I'm not interested in. Give me the safety and leave the rest uh, as optional things because I don't want it. I thought I did, but I don't. 
And so that's where I'm at. So if you followed along, this is just kind of me spilling out everything that I've kind of been through in the last couple years that I've learned and what I want to pass on to everybody else. I love the Toyota Tundra if it is what it was designed to be and it sadly just isn't. So this is Keith from Trigger Happy and thanks for staying with me. If you've watched all my videos, I really appreciate it. I'm not a regular YouTuber and I probably never will be. Uh, but I'm just somebody that bought a truck and had problems with it and wanted to kind of share with the world my experience and I hope it helps you and your purchasing decision. And I also ultimately hope that it helps us get better vehicles because that's ultimately what we want is better vehicles for our dollar. And I feel like the auto industry is going backwards right now. Uh, so we'll see you next time, maybe. Keith from Trigger Happy, have a good one.